Well, sound healing incorporates many facets from one's voice to crystal singing bowls. It impacts your mind, body, and soul. Virginia-based authentic voice consultant Elizabeth Howell is here with a live demonstration. We welcome her to Virginia this morning. It is delightful to meet you. You just have a good spirit about you. How, how did you get into sound healing and, and with bowls? Well, believe it or not, I am actually a nurse anesthetist, and so I was a little skeptical at first, but I had a lot of stress in my life, and I just wasn't happy. I had success, but no joy, which I don't really think is success. So I was looking for different things to help me feel joyful and stress-free, and I had a sound healing and was totally hooked. Transformed. And transformed, I really was. And then I decided I want to learn how to do that um, for myself and then to share with others to hope hopefully spread the joy yeah. you know so you learned that joy you've learned this this um, trade this mm -hmm. this um, tech not technology but instrument really mm -hmm. and now you're sharing it with everyone you you've said that there have been studies done on many levels that really reveal how much this can impact someone in a very positive way yes one study that was very interesting is patients um, were going into surgery and they gave them music therapy or an anti-anxiety drug. And they found that the, the people who had the music therapy um, reported less anxiety and even more interestingly, their um, level of cortisol, which is a stress hormone, was lower than the group that received medication, which I thought was really interesting. Now the study needs to be replicated, but um, that's being done right now. <laughs> Those are encouraging findings, <laughs> yeah. right? So we have all of these bowls in front of us. We're not mm -hmm. doing a cooking segment. We are, in, in fact, sharing the, uh, the, the, the sound healing. How does this work? What do we do? You're going to show me and put me to work. I'll show you how to do. We strike the bowls and they resonate at a certain frequency. And it's thought, um, we know by because of physics that we resonate at certain frequencies. Mm -hmm. And so it's thought that if um, our frequencies are not in harmony, that we may not feel great. We might feel stressed or anxious. And so using clear, pure frequencies with these bowls, as we strike them, it resonates as you could feel in your body and gets us back to our natural resonance or natural harmony. So in mm -hmm. layman's turn, you, terms, you're tuning this instrument, right? That's I'm right. out of tune. All right. Okay. I'm getting you tuned up. I'm That's feeling right. yeah. I'm feeling good because it's a sunny day, but I'm feeling, you know, everybody's got a little mm -hmm. anxiety in their life. So if I'm That's feeling right. anxious, what do I do? Well, first you would start by taking a nice deep breath in and out. And then really focusing in on the intention that you're having, which is to feel less stressed, to feel joyful, to feel healthy. And then you would take your wand mm -hmm. and strike a ball. Any which one? Well, what, whichever one feels I like. I got anxious one. about my choice of yeah, which one to, to strike. Okay, well, I'm going to be open. Well, give it a try. <laughs> and then whichever one is resonating with you, you're going to feel that sound. Mm -hmm. And then you would go around the bowl. Ooh. Some sounds you may not like. And then some sounds may make you feel... Mama mia. Uh, perfect. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can feel... And then just gentle. <laughs> did, I, did I hit it too much? <laughs> I told you I had a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. signed up to come back, which I think is a testimony that they've enjoyed it and had benefit. Mm -hmm. You, how, how did you discover this? You, it really was just by chance? Well, I was feeling stressed yeah. and I wanted something in my life and I had this sound therapy done. And then I started, I, I wanted to know the science behind it. Yeah. And so I started looking in, we all know how music makes us feel and to see the science, how music really, um, the research shows that it that it has a physiologic response. Our heart rate can be changed. Our blood pressure can be changed. That it showed to have effects on our sweat glands mm -hmm. and stress hormones. And so we know that there's something behind that. Um, and if you think about these are crystal singing bowls, our voice is a sound healing instrument. And so if you think about, I always think about my mom saying, um, 
don't use that tone with me. Mm -hmm. And each of these have a tone or a frequency. And so you can also use your voice as a sound healing instrument um, when you use it and use it hopefully in a positive and joyful way. See how much calmer I was yes. with those, those hits? Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm so much calmer than I thought I would be since we got to play the bowls during the interview. And you so. mentioned earlier too, Elizabeth, you have uh, one that you used with Cheryl. This is a different style. Mm -hmm. They're not all just the quartz bowls. No, this is a um, Tibetan singing bowl. It's made of six layers of copper hand, handmade. Um, and it's, it's a much lower frequency or resonance. And these pure sounds, it, it is hard to create with um, a lot of other instruments to feel this resonance in your body, which is why these are some of the most commonly used instruments for sound healing. And we have the opportunity to do, to actually play or strike or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, make the, create the sound here. Classes mm -hmm. are available where you really just absorb the sound too. Yes. And that's what I participate in workshops and you come to the workshop and I'll do a sound healing for a group and you'll lay down in a meditation style and I'll play this music and it's almost like it surrounds your entire body. Well, I'm feeling so. great. Thank well, you so much. Well, how, thank you so much for having wonderful. me. I definitely I, I slowed down and I'm soaking up the healing sounds. Elizabeth is hosting a cacao ceremony, igniting joy and love Monday, March 26th at 6 p.m. It's right here in Richmond. For more information on sound healing and other scheduled events, we'll have a direct link on our show website by early this afternoon, wtbr.com slash VTM. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.